Here's a quick tutorial on how to fit a couple of resistors in a micro servo. This is 5.5 grams and I'm going to use it for micro FPV as a pan servo. You need to locate these two wires here and connect a resistor between the two. So I've stripped the wires, cut them and stripped them, ready to solder. And then after I've tinned those, cut the resistor to length, tin that and then solder it between and then reassemble it and I'll show you how. Okay, I've added the resistors now and I'm going to just plug it in a second and show it working. But you have to pre tin these wires and the ends of the uh, cut down resistors. So let's put some power through it and see what happens. Okay, I'm going to servo tester, select neutral, and then connect it all up through there. So you've got um, speed control here powering it. So let's put another right voltage and then just go ahead and click the button to put it on auto. That's it. And there you go. Job done. Now we'll seal up the bottom and uh, I'm going to put the resistors externally because there's just no room inside the case. And just make it a lot easier to install that way. So back soon. Um, by the way, just using the speed servo controller manually, you can crank it right around. That's pretty much almost 180 degrees. I think I can get a bit more through my Tyrannis once I programmed it to extend limits. And I'll show you that next. Here's the case put back on. Just getting it ready now to put some hot glue on it. I haven't made any recesses for the wires. I've just closed it down. Hasn't broken them. So hot glue will tidy that up and then I can install it. And here we go. Hot glued on. So it just protects it a little bit and the uh, contacts. So I've been ready, I'm ready to sort of set up the next stage now, which will be the um, on the radio control and adjustable limits. So coming next. I'd like to say initially I've tried these resistors which are 3K resistors and don't, don't work, nothing at all. Set it all up, sold it in. So I swapped around, um, got the other ones I used. These are 2.2K resistors and they work perfectly. I don't know why these don't work. I've got an entire packet of them now which is probably useless. Got these from Amazon so avoid. Okay, I've just hooked it up to a receiver and I've adjusted this to minus 130 on the Tyrannis on outputs and this receiver and here's a little test to show you it's for 180. Brilliant. Well, we're done. Hope this helps in your quest to make your micro servos move further. Don't forget to go to model setup and look for the extended trims box and just check it so it's got a little tick in there and that'll all work. And that's all you have to do and go to the outputs and do what I said in the previous clip. So just to keep you uh, aware of what you have to do and how easy it is, it really is easy. Hope it helps.